Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Chemistry Class. Our topic for today is destructive distillation of coal and wood. Alright, let's proceed. Destructive distillation of coal. Coal is an allotrope of carbon and a complex mixture of compounds composed mainly of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen with small amounts of nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus as impurities. A wide variety of substances can be obtained from it by a process known as the destructive distillation of coal. All right, you know, we've been made to know that it is a mixture, and once it is a mixture, it will go through separating technique, and one of the separating technique or separation technique it will go through is distillation. Um, okay, here is an equation that shows the product and byproduct of what of the destructive distillation of coal. We have coke, we have ammoniacal liquor, we have coal tar, we have coal gas. All right, listen to during this process, coal is heated to a very high temperature in the absence of air so that all components distill over. So, some of these condense on cooling to form an almost black tar called quota when it says some of these condense meaning that they change from gaseous state okay to liquid from gaseous you know you know they've been um subjected to heat so it changes to gas so they change back from gas to liquid so they condense on cooling to form an almost black tar called quota and an aqueous liquid known as ammoniacal liquor. Well, quota is a mixture of more than 200 different substances which can be separated by fractional distillation or not that method of separation technique. Well, most of these uh, exam are benzene, toluene, phenol, and aphthalene, which are also used as the, in the synthesis or otherwise in the production of important commercial products like dyes, plastics, and explosives. All right, we have ammoniacal liquor. Ammoniacal liquor is a solution of ammonia in water and it is converted into ammonium tetrasulfate 6 for use as a fertilizer. It's actually a very major fertilizer. The volatile components are collected as coal gas, which usually contains about 50% hydrogen, 30% methane, 10% carbon monoxide, and a small amount of other gases. Example is ethane and hydrogen sulfide. Coal gas is an important gaseous fuel because it is cleaner and more efficient than coal or other solid fuels. All right, the non volatile residue which is left behind after destruction. Distillation is called coke and it can be used as fuel or for other purposes. Well, unlike ordinary, yeah, unlike ordinary distillation, the coal is destroyed by this distillation process. And obviously, that's why it's called destructive distillation of coal because the coal itself does not remain after the process. All right, we'll move to the destructive distillation of wood. Wood is a complex substance like coal except that the percentage composition of the element present in it present in it is different so for example wood has a higher percentage of hydrogen and oxygen got a lower percentage of carbon than coal destructive distillation of wood yeast is for fractions it is wood charcoal pyroligneous acid wood tar and wood gas um, the pyroligneous acid is the liquid fraction and contains mainly ethanoic acid and propanol, propanol, methanol, and some other compounds. Right. In summary, coal is an allotrope of carbon. When it undergoes destructive distillation, it yields coke, ammoniacal liquor, coal tar, and coal gas. The substances got from the destructive distillation of coal are used in the synthesis of other products. While um, wood will yield um, wood charcoal, pyroligneous acid, water, and wood gas when it undergoes destructive distillation. Okay, yeah, the assignment that I would love you to try, and I also love to get a feedback from you. Thank you for today's class. Mm-hmm.